and welcome to the replay. Hey guys, while I'm behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the upcoming project, here are some things that you can do. Number one, if you are not already following me on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, be sure that you go ahead and you like my fan page on Facebook, that you follow my page on YouTube, and that you follow me on Instagram. And make sure your notifications are turned on on all of those sites. So that way you never miss an announcement that I have to make about products that could be coming out or when I'm getting ready to go live or if there's specials that I'll have going on where you'll want to go into my VIP group. Which brings me to that. My VIP group link is right down below in the description of the video on both YouTube and Facebook. If you're not already in there, I would love it if you would go ahead and join my VIP group. It's a great place to be, you guys. Next thing I want to talk to you about is Club Couture. If you haven't already heard, Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month. It's only $19.99 plus tax in the U.S. and $26.99 plus tax in Canada. And guess what? It's going to ship free to you every single month. What will ship free to you? Well, an exclusive size B transfer that only Chalk Couture designers and Club Couture customers can receive once they become a Club Couture customer and three coordinating chalk paste singles. Don't worry about seeing the Club Couture transfer right now in this part of the video because I'll be showing you once we start the live. You will also gain access to my private Club Couture VIP group, where I go and create three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with that Club Couture transfer. You'll also get bonus flat rate shipping. I'll go over that as well once we go into the project. But just know you're going to get bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the US and $9.95 in Canada. It's pretty awesome. You will also get access to exclusive offers and deals directly from Chalk Couture each month for being one of my Club Couture customers. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be talking about the opportunity to go ahead and purchase your business in a box, launch your empire, and join my award-winning team. Stay tuned for that. So, hope you're ready for the project that's about to come. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for joining me today. Hey, hey, you guys. Happy Friday. I told you yesterday I would be on early because we do have my nephew's baseball game that we are going to run to tonight, hopefully pending the weather because it does look like it's going to crap out and become all rainy. Big surprise, but that's not going to stop us from going live right now. And I'm super excited for this project. I think it's going to turn out super cute, but we have some important things to talk about. So let's first talk about Club Couture. Club Couture, as you heard me say, it's the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month without fail. Now, this is April's Club Couture. It's called What If You Fly. It says, what if I fall? What if I fail? Or um, to say, what if I fail? What if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, when you become a Club Couture customer of mine, you also get some perks. Number one, the first thing you're going to get is one of our amazing semi-annual catalogs in the mail with your first Club Couture subscription. Um, you currently will receive the spring, summer semi-annual catalog. The next thing you're going to get is access into my private VIP Club Couture group where I will go and create three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. So that way you can keep creating with your um, monthly Club Couture transfer. You will also get, as a Club Couture customer of mine, bonus flat rate shipping. My U.S. customers will receive $4.95 flat rate shipping on each and every order, no matter how big or small they are. Always flat rate shipping of $4.95. My Canadian Club Couture customers will receive that flat rate shipping of only $9.95, no matter how big or small they may be. And finally, you will get exclusive access to specials and deals directly from Chalk Couture every single month. This month's special is when you spend 100 US or 100 Canadian in my online store when you are logged into your Club Couture account, you will get $10 off. Now, the best part about this is you could do this multiple times throughout the month. So if you want to get an order in now before that brand new summer celebration suite launches on uh, April the 15th, you can get an order in. Spend $100, you'll get $10 off. And then when that catalog releases, say the end of the month, you want to put another order in. You absolutely can and get another $10 off. 
Being a Club Couture customer absolutely has its perks. If you're ready to join it, the link can be found in the description of this video on both YouTube and Facebook. Now, let's talk about my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world, okay? And that is the ability to make April the best month ever, purchase your business in a box, launch your empire, and join my award-winning team. And the reason why I'm saying you should make April be that month, you guys, is because we have a special when you join my team in your starter kit. You're going to get a bonus item. Now, we don't do specials. Uh, pretty much last year, we did it one time throughout the entire year. I'm going to say it's probably going to be the same this year, too. So you should take advantage and make April be that month. Not only do you get a starter kit bonus item, you have the ability to get, uh, be one of five designers who join this month to get even more free product. Five designers are going to get a golden certificate in their kit that's going to say holla holla designer dollars. And that means you're going to get a hundred designer dollars applied to your designer account to shop for any single thing you want in your online store. Now let's talk more about this new designer kit, which I call a business in a box. Okay. First of all, I have been challenged to get five new designers this month, and I am really hoping I hit this goal, so I need your help. Um, this is the business in a box, okay? It is a small investment of $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., $127 plus tax and shipping in Canada. You guys, there's four transfers you should see on your screen right now that are not even out yet. They don't even release until April the 15th, which means me as a designer, I can't get my hands on it. Customers cannot get their hands on it. Only brand new designers are going to have it first before anyone else. Now, um, you are going to get for that small investment, you're going to get a box that's going to come on your doorstep valued at $264.99 US, $349.99 Canadian, and it's going to include five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, and apron. I just screwed that up. Five three-ounce chalk face, a small squeegee and apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chocolate chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel, eight a magnetic chalkboard, the README, our gorgeous spring-summer catalog. Instead of six, this month, you're going to get seven silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers and that Club Couture transfer because, as I said in the video, Club Couture is exclusive to only designers and Club Couture customers. Now, I know I threw out a whole lot of info at you, and you were likely saying, Jess, girl, I still have questions. Please don't worry. I have your answers. I have an opportunity group, and that link can be found down below in the description of this video on both YouTube and Facebook. Please request to join it. As soon as I see that you have sent that request, I will go ahead and approve you in the group and tag you in a video that goes over every single question you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Tour, but joining my team, you guys. I want it to be a decision you're happy with. Now, here's a little something up on your screen for all of my brand new friends who are just joining and learning about Chalk Couture while I go in and see who's on with us. Hi, Holly. Am I saying your name right? Paula Shemi on YouTube. Good morning, Cheryl Shepard. Hi, Lisa Batten. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Cat White. Hey, Jane. Thankful that you and family are doing so much. Oh, Jane, we truly are. You have no idea. I'm so, so thankful. You. I feel so blessed. Hi, Dion. Hi, Carol Pierce. How are you? Um, oh, you're drinking. Wait, hold on, Carol. I got my coffee right here, girl. I'm on cup number three. Oh, gosh. I'm going to be wired today. Hi, Mary Carol. Shh, you're watching from work. Um, hi, Mary Beth Endicott. How are you? Hi, Jeanette. Ontario's over 4,200 cases. Oh, my goodness. Jeanette, please stay safe. Just stay safe. You guys started your lockdown last night, right? Um, hi, Heidi. How are you? Hey, Denise. How are you? So it's Friday. Yay. Thank God it's Friday. Not like, it's not like um, I'm in like the corporate world anymore where it's like, oh God, I got to get through today. I work for myself. It's fun. It, it's good. And especially now that, like I said, it's just got a groove back. It's so much fun. I could not wait to get up this morning and get cracking. And I already crossed off like five things off my list. So I am feeling fine this morning. I'm feeling super good. Hi, Andy Short. So today we're going to create a pillow with um, the inhale, exhale. If you watched my um, Bullseye Playground haul on YouTube the other day, I told you I was going to do this and I could not wait to get at it. So we're going to do that today. So I found this super cute pillow in the Bullseye, okay? Um, and I am very anxious to go ahead and create this into a pillow for the dude, okay? For for uh, Little Bram. We are going to be using the inhale, exhale transfer, okay? 
Um, I'm going to be putting inhale on one side, exhale on the other. Now, I'm hoping this turns out okay because the pillow is obviously stuffed, like pre-stuffed. I can't unstuff it. So I'm going to work my hardest to make this happen. I sent you a PM last night on Facebook. Not sure if you saw not regarding. Oh, Cheryl, I did not see it, but I will go ahead. Oh, wait, I thought I did. Did I not respond to you? Maybe I did not. Maybe I didn't see it. I will check it for sure as soon as I am done this live. I, I thought I responded to you. I will go and look and see. Was it a pet bag? Did you comment on a post? Someone um, someone uh, sent me a picture, a picture comment, and I responded to it. I just don't remember who it was. But I will definitely look at it. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, getting ready to brew second pot. Yes, Carol, you're my girl. Um, oh, thank you, Carol. I did film a video for my team for some uh, training that, that we're doing. Um, Jess, when I went to the bullseye spot yesterday, I picked up that super thin basket. As I'm sitting here looking at it, maybe lampshade, you know, Heidi, I would be super worried that that would burn up, <laughs> but yes, a lampshade for sure. I would just be worried of a fire hazard, <laughs> but it's crazy thin, right? Super, super thin. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is label the back of the carrier sheet because our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. You can reuse them. Once you are done using them, you can take them to your uh, sink, wash them off really well with the board eraser, and then let them dry by air. And then once they're all dried, I always let mine go overnight. Um, once they're all dried, replace them back onto the carrier sheet and store them for the next use. Okay, you guys? So that's what we're going to do. Now, I do not fuzz when I am inking because I want there to be a very tight seal onto my fabric. All right. And especially this, because as I said, I cannot unstuff this pillow. So I'm going to just try my hardest to make it work and make it stick. And hopefully I'm going to get it somewhat centered. And I don't know that I'm going to even mess with the line, you guys. And you know what? Here's the best part. The pillow is the exact same size as the transfer, the length. So as long as I line it up end to end, it's going to be it's going to be in the center. OK, so it appears that I have a very good stick to this. So let's see if we can get this to go while well, it's already stuffed. I don't typically like to chalk on pre-stuffed pillows, but you got to do what you got to do, right? We're going to test it out. Um, oh, a red light, Heidi. OK, OK, I see what you're talking about. All right. Okay, now there are some rules I follow when inking. Number one, I do not go side to side when inking. If I have a bump in my silk screen, I have noticed if I go side to side, it makes the bleed worse. So I always go top to bottom or bottom to top. Second, I always start above the screen so that way if there is too much on, it doesn't glob on and seep underneath it. So that is number two. Uh, number three. When I go to pull the silk screen off, I always check my fingers to make sure I do not have ink on them. So I will always have a paper towel handy when I am inking. So let's go ahead. With ink, you can also take your time, you guys. Um, ink dries a lot slower than the paste. So you can go a little slower and take your time to make sure you really are happy with what you have going on for your um, project. I hope this is a little straight. Hopefully it's not going totally crooked. Um, so we shall see. All right, so here goes. So I'm just gonna pull the, the ink down across my pillow. I'm hoping that I do not have any bumps in my silk screen. Okay. And I'm trying to go gently because as I said, it's already pre-stuffed. There's really not much I can do in the way of unstuffing it. I can't do it. It is what it is. I can't forget to take my clothes out of the washer too. I even threw a load of laundry in today, man. I feel like Superwoman. Hence the coffee mug, you guys. My Ray Dunn mug today, I think is, wait, is it Superwoman? It sure is. All right, so I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna get all this excess ink off my squeegee. I don't need all this. Little goes a long way. And now what I want to do is come in and try to get this excess off my silk screen. Trying to be gently. Trying to be gently. That does not even make sense. I'm trying to go gentle or gently as to not mess it up. 
I will look at comments in just oh, in just a second. Okay. I think we're pretty good. I do have some excess ink on here that I wish I would be able to get off, but you know what? There's a saying about beggars and choosers. As long as my project turns out good, I'm okay to leave a little bit of ink. Okay, so I'm going to put my squeegee off to the side. I'm checking to make sure I have no ink on me, and I do see ink on my fingertip. So I'm going to get that off. Okay, looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to peel from the center, and I'm going to gently peel down. And see, I already see a spot where the ink did not go fully through. There it goes, and I just pushed it right on down. I just took my finger and pushed it right through the screen. And that's okay. There we go. Gently, gently, gently. Pull slow, because if you see any spots where you missed or the ink didn't go all the way through, you can come right on back in and just push your hand over it or get your squeegee. I don't mind pushing my hand on things. It's okay. A little bit on my ends. Perfect. Look at that. It went a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm all right with that, you guys. Look how good that looks. <gasps> Ooh. Let's see. Using that ink on a pre-stuffed pillow. You're braver than me. Hey, I was going to test it out, Cheryl. I was excited to try it out. Oh, thanks, Jean. So there we go. We've got the first side done. So let's move that out of the way so I have no mishaps. Same with this, because I can see the tassels going into it. So now we got to dry this, okay? And you know what? I can see myself wearing the inhale on my black jumpsuit here. We don't want that to happen. All right, let's go ahead and let's dry this. I'm just going to take my quick dry tool, which hopefully will be coming back in stock soon, you guys. Okay? Look how good that turned out. Oh, I love it. So now little Brian can have this on his bed. And the best part about this, this fits his Sixers theme, his Philadelphia 76ers, because um, it's blue and red in his room. So he's got his inhale, exhale pillow, blue and red. And remember, I made him that other pillow. What does it say? Crap. I can't remember. I made him a pillow like a week and a half ago to put up there. It's up in his room. I just don't remember what it says. Thanks, Jeanette. Thanks, Chris. Oh, nice, Chris. I wish I was out shopping. Thank you, Marilyn. Now, the ink does take a little longer to dry, okay? Today is mine. Today is yours. I don't know what you mean, Chris. What is today? I don't understand. Today is not my shopping day. I wish it was. I'm hopeful to be able to get out and get a Starbucks. <laughs> I just want to be able to get a Starbucks. That is still wet, so we're going to keep on going. Oh, make today yours, maybe? That's right. That's what I think it says. I know what you're talking about now, Chris. Make today yours, I think, is the pillow I made him. Good memory. There you go. Yep, now I know what you're talking about. Yep, yep, yep.
Yes, Jeanette, this is very true. Good thing you did. Good thing you did. Now the ink is gonna feel tacky when it's dry. So I just usually will stick my finger on it. And if like, see ink came up on the A, so I know I still gotta spend more time. It could be tacky as long as no ink comes up, then you know you're set. Now what I'm gonna do is once I know that this is all dry, I'm gonna quick heat set this side, then we'll do the next side. And I'm gonna heat set it like I would do any other ink project. Okay, I think we're good. Ready? So we're gonna go ahead and get our parchment paper. And we're gonna get our heat press. I put it on 330 for 30 seconds. And then um, we'll do 330 for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna move this back and forth because I don't really know what type of material is inside this pillow. Um, and then we could wash this if we had to, especially now with having a puppy, I'm finding myself washing more and more pillows. So I wanna make sure all my stuff is definitely permanent. Um, what was I going to say? I'm going to do another 30 seconds just to make sure. But, um, if you don't have a heat press and you can't do the 330 for 30 seconds, do an iron on the cotton setting for four minutes, um, with the parchment paper barrier as well. Good morning, Debbie Green. Okay, so we got this side all done, completed. We're ready to move on to exhale side. So I'll just put this out of the way. I don't know why the scissors were there, but okay. Oh yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is put the parchment paper down because it feels hot and sticky. Oh gosh, that did not sound right, but you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna do that. Now, I need to be really careful because there is ink already on this project. Let's move the ink over here so I don't accidentally get any in it. Let's move my coffee to the side because I'm not in the mood to be eating ink today. And let's make sure my pillow is nice and straight here. Get off the tag. There we go. I think I'm happy with that placement. I think I'm very happy with it, and I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to put too much thought into it here because that's usually when I make a mistake. Let's just go with it. Okay, ready? Remember, like I said, top to bottom and start a little above. A little above the screen. Going to work a lot quicker this time. go. I think we're all covered. You can see that actually the tip of the H is going to give me a little bit of an issue there. Okay. Not going to mess with it anymore. Let's get it off. Okay, you ready? Checking my fingers. I've got ink all over. Let's get that off first. Good. Uh-oh. Rot row. Okay. Oh, beautiful already. Oh, perfect, you guys. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I love it. All right. Let's go ahead and get it dried. Quick and easy. Look at that. Good morning, Iris. Hi, Karen Johnson. There you go, Debbie. 
Yes, there you go, Mary Carol. And who doesn't love inhale, exhale? It's perfect, right? Great saying. Actually, before I mess myself up here, let's close up this ink. I have knocked everything over in my path this morning. Really not in the mood to be cleaning ink up. So let's put that over there. There we go. Now let's go back to drying. Yay, came out perfect. Thanks, Kim. Okay, I just got a notification. Ah, something I was waiting for is back in stock. Wonder if I can grab it real quick. Probably not. Pro oh, already sold out. Womp womp. Didn't get it in time. <laughs> Some of the transfers I'm not interested in until you make something. Sorry, Debbie. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Mary Beth. <laughs> I know sometimes I'm like, what am I going to do with these? And then just the right thing comes along. Seriously. Seriously. It's just the right thing. Oh, for sure. <gasps> Yay, Lisa, that's awesome. Congrats, girl. I have, um, where are they? Oh my God, what did I do with them? Oh, I have two of them that I am looking at right now. I'm, one, I'm waiting to see. I want to do something summery, and I'm waiting on the summer celebrations to come out. Um, and we'll put something in there. Or I'm going to turn them into a dog treat container. I haven't fully decided yet. That E is definitely still wet. X is still wet. Okay. Just got to keep trying a little bit more, guys.
Okay, we're good. Ready to dry again. Let's get that parchment paper out. Ready? And here we go. And I'm going to push it across. Remember, we don't know what material the inside of this pillow is made of. So we don't we want to just keep it moving. Keep it moving. And I'm going to do it repeat it one more time for 30 seconds. Okay? Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, there you go, Debbie Green. That'll be perfect. Totally perfect. Okay. Three, two, one. We are done. Let's check out our pillow. Ouch. Oh, gosh. Look at all the steam coming off. Can you guys see that? Okay. So we've got exhale and we've got inhale. Oh, I love it. Come on up to me. Inhale on one side. Exhale on the other. Oh, I love it. Turned out perfect. Oh my God, I love it. If you guys are interested in getting your hands on the transfer, the ink. I even threw some ink mats on the, um, in my cart link because they always run out of stock and they actually have been in stock. So if you haven't grabbed them, I suggest that you do. Um, but uh, everything's in the cart link in the description of this video. So if you're interested in them, grab them, snag them while they're there. Um, I love when, uh, yeah, my, me too, Debbie Green. I love when my brain clicks on. Um, thank you. Thank you, Jean. So that's my project for you guys today. Thank you, Carol. I hope you guys enjoy. For my Canadian friends that are in Ontario on your lockdown, just be safe. Have some crafting time. Enjoy some family time. Play some family games if you can. Watch some videos. There's so much good TV. If I can suggest it, I don't know if you have it up there. Paramount um, just released that app that you can download on the TV. $4.99 a month for us in the U.S., I am obsessed with it. There are so many old shows that I'm catching up on. Little Brand loves Taxi. Do you remember that from the 70s and 80s? Um, he, he should have been born in the 80s, I swear. Um, so we've been watching Taxi at night. Um, what other show? There was another show he was watching. There's another a show on TV called Be Positive. Um, we've been watching that as a family. So Paramount, take that in. Do some chalking. There's some good stuff in my store that you might want to snag. Um, let me know, uh, what you think about the project down below. I thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll be back tomorrow morning for early morning chocolate and coffee. Um, I think I have a fun project for tomorrow. I'm hoping it turns out the way in my brain I want it to. Um, I may sw sub it out Sunday's project for tomorrow's project. I'm not sure yet, but I already have it planned out and I already have a whole theme for next week. Um, all my projects for next week are already planned out. I'm telling you, like I said, just got a groove back. I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, yes. Do you guys remember taxi? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so it's, uh, it's been good. It's good days. Little brand has therapy today at four 30. Um, our therapist comes here. So thankful for him. I think he just took the puppy out. So I'm going to go check on everything. I got some shipping I have to get out today and I have to do one more video I have to film. And I think I am all caught up. Thank you, God. Um, so that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Thanks for having um, some coffee with me. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find me. Um, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye, guys. Have a great Friday.